Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the use of following sibling? Let me answer. In expert expressions, we have something known as expert axis. There are different types of expert axis like parent, child, ancestor, descendant, following, preceding, and so on. Following sibling is one of the expert axis available, okay, in expert expressions, okay. The syntax is something like this, following hyphen sibling colon colon, okay. After this colon colon, you have to give the tag name. So let me practically demonstrate uh, how to use this uh, following sibling. After using this following sibling, we'll understand what is the use of following sibling, okay. So for that, I'll open this browser and take you to one application, any application. Uh, let's say this application. So to make it more simple, I'll take you. Otherwise, let's be on this page. Right click inspect somewhere. So let's say here we have the body tag. And here uh, we have some div tag. Okay. Uh, under the div tag, there are some tags here. Some divs and all those stuff. Let's, let's uh, look for a proper one. Okay. Uh, let's take this script, script. Let I'm just finding a proper one. It's very complex. Okay. I otherwise I'll take this one. This particular div tag I would like to locate. I would like to create an XPath expression to locate this div tag. So it has an ID. Copy this ID and create an XPath expression to locate this div tag having this particular ID. Control F double slash div at the rate ID is equal to give that ID attribute value. Okay. Now it has located this, right? Now it has located this div tag. This div tag got located. Now using this div tag, I would like to locate the following sibling. Following means after this div tag, any other tags are coming. For example, here script tag is there. Okay, any other tags are coming, any other tags that are following tags, but they should be the sibling tags. Okay, this div tag, this script tag, this script tag, these are the sibling tags. Multiple script tags are there here under this div tag. This script tag is a sibling of the new tag. This script also is a sibling of the new tag. This script is also a sibling of the new tag. They are all following. Whereas this one, this script tag is also sibling, but this script tag is not the following. This is preceding. This script tag is a preceding of the new tag. Now, if I am talking about this particular expert axis known as following sibling, it can help us with the help of this one. I can locate the sibling, following sibling tags, not the preceding sibling or parent or whatever it is. Following sibling tags can be located. Sibling means brothers and sisters, which are at the same level. Okay. So let's write down the code here. Write down the XPath expression here, slash following XPath axis. I'm using following hyphen sibling colon colon. And I have to give the tag name. If I give the script as a tag name, so what's the problem? Following hyphen. There is a spelling mistake here. S I B L I N G. Okay. You see how many items are getting located? Three. This script tag, this script tag, this script tag. You see, all the three script tags are the following siblings. Okay. There may be other tags also, but we should be at the same level. But if I give other things like div, you see, no div sibling tags are there, but script tag is there. Okay. Script tag is there. So out of these three, if I want to locate the second one, I would give script of two. You see, the second script tag is getting located. Script of three, third. Following sibling of script tag is located. If I give one, it's the first following sibling. Okay. Not only this, I I can take you another uh, to another page where I can give you one more example of the following sibling. Right click inspect on this very simple page. Now here, here title is there, script is there, body under the body we have two paragraph tags. If I take this paragraph tag, I locate this with the help of ID, I locate this. And with the help of this, I would like to locate this one, okay? Control F, double slash P, at the rate ID is equal to, this is locating the first paragraph tag, this paragraph tag. But this paragraph tag is a following sibling tag, okay? This paragraph is a following sibling tag of this paragraph tag. If I want to locate this paragraph tag with the help of this one, for example, assume that this doesn't have a proper ID or class, and uh, still I want to locate this with a proper ID and a proper locator, then first I can locate this one, and uh, with the help of that one, I can simply say following hyphen sibling colon colon p p tag. Okay, I'm able to locate this paragraph tag with the help of this one. 
with the locators of this paragraph tag, proper locators of this paragraph tag, I'm able to locate the following sibling tag, this one, okay? So generally we use XPath access when there is no proper locator for locating a particular element. So with the help of other, by locating other elements, if you want to locate the required element, then we go with the XPath access, following sibling is one of them. So hope guys, uh, you understood the use of uh, following sibling and how the following sibling works in XPath expressions. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.